What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here. Welcome to the NR Motorsports YouTube channel. We are gonna be working on the F350 today. We are gonna do the DEF delete, which is right here. Er, the DEF delete is for the exhaust with the big ass torpedo underneath. And then we're doing the EGR delete as well with the coolant bypass, because apparently with this system, you can be 15 degrees cooler. And we're gonna be basically deleting all the emission stuff off of this stuff because it's all failing. I had the truck when I, it was like last week or two weeks ago, I was driving up to the racetrack to go watch the races and the DEF pump on this thing started doing some crazy shit. And then the truck said like 50 miles till idle. And luckily I had the easy link with me and I was using the easy link to delete the codes. Like they would come, I'd probably say like every 50 or 60 miles. Cause I was a good 130, 140 miles away in uh, upstate New York. But um, this thing, it was probably like, like I said, every 50 miles or so, uh, it would, it would pull that code and throw like six or seven, like uh, it was like a knock sensor, NOx sensor, um, pump reluctant something and then like three or four other ones that had to do with the pump as well so luckily we made it home and i've been driving it around after clearing the codes and they haven't really come back until this afternoon and same exact codes it was like 10 codes and that was after probably 200 miles so yeah it's time to get rid of all this stuff the tunes are coming from um proven diesel they should be here monday or tuesday so i'm going to get all this stuff done or at least try to over the next like three or four days because today's saturday and just have it ready for when the tunes come in and hopefully we can get a we can get a startup on this i'm not exactly sure if i just delete all this shit if the truck will that will even start without reading any of the stuff i know it'll put it in like a crazy limp mode but we'll find out together as we as we go along but this is a five inch exhaust uh, straight pipe. So it goes four to five and then five all the way back. We have a five to six uh, inch tip. And I think that's, oh, and then I got, I got HIDs coming for, these are the fog light ones and I have a set for the headlights coming as well. So this is a super simple setup on this. Uh, the exhaust is pretty much straight from factory to begin with. Oh, so this is the, filter that we're going to be getting rid of there from the research that i've done there's eight plugs on this thing and you got the two bolts up there and we'll probably disconnect the three down there just to make it a little bit smaller and pull out that pull out the back pull this out and then get the the big five inch in here so give me a few seconds to get a couple tools together and then we'll start disconnecting all these clips here and then we'll get to the bolts and get this thing out of here so let's get to it so real quick before we start ripping everything apart i'm going to give you guys a cold start and like i said hopefully we can get the cold start with the exhaust but this truck's been sitting for probably like two hours so it's definitely completely cold i'm gonna set you guys down and we'll hear what this thing sounds like Damn it. All right, guys, so we got the two bolts that were right here. You have to take, let me see if I can show you with one hand here. 
you have to take the actual bolts out from this side the they're facing like this they're going like this into here the nuts are captured and welded into here so we're gonna have to find some hardware to connect the new parts but this is the easiest part right here you just take that off this is decently hot it's not where i can't touch it but you don't want to keep your hands on it for too long so that helped keep all these bolts like nice and loose so we're gonna get to getting the eight plugs i gotta look and see where they are as we go but I'll show you them once we get them dropped off because it is like super tight up in here and this is still kind of warm. So let me work with this and we'll get this out and show you because it's only three more bolts and then the hangers holding it up that down, holding it up down there and then that's it. All right, guys, this thing is heavy as fuck. It has to weigh at least 200 pounds. This thing's huge. So I did have to unbolt this hanger because I was not going to try and get this double hanger off. This was just impossible. So I unbolted that. The other two right there came off pretty simple. And right there, there was two more. Those popped right off. And then you have the two plugs here, the, the knock sensor. I cut the hose on these. Don't know exactly what the solenoid goes to, but I just cut it. And then these are your eight plugs. So you have the one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I missing something? Seven that was up here. And I think there was one more. This was eight right up top. So those are your eight plugs that uh, had to come out. Then the three bolts, mine actually snapped off. The three nuts that were right there completely snapped off when I was taking it off. And this thing was leaking here and it snapped here and it's leaking there too so that might be reason why the it was throwing codes but either way this stuff's getting deleted and never have to worry about it again let's get that back half off and then we'll start reinstalling the new exhaust all right guys so this is uh, my first of all the camera died and lost all the footage of me trying to install the exhaust the exhaust was way more complicated than it needed to be um, because I bought this used, all the clamps and all that were already tightened down. So I left it on thinking that it would kind of fit in right. When in all reality, I should have loosened up every single clamp on this thing. Because when... Uh, get over here. Because when I was trying to get this flange that bolts up to the downpipe to get on here and align correctly, just for some reason it would not just it would not line up it would not work first of all this flange isn't the correct flange it's a homemade piece that the guy made because he didn't get sent the piece which i'm starting to look at it and i'm thinking you were supposed to 
cut the exhaust and take that one off. So I should have did that, but I ended up breaking the bolts, the OEM bolts, so I don't have a thread that matches that. So I still use this piece. Uh, I used some grade eight bolts that I had in my toolbox and I loosened up here so I can get this piece on and then all this went together pretty simply. But other than that, everything's on here. I'm gonna check all these wires to make sure nothing's on the exhaust. And then let's see if this thing fires up and idles and if we could throw some uh, throttle at it and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, so that's it for today. We got the exhaust finished up on this thing. It uh, it sounds absolutely amazing. I want to get the EGR done, but it's getting a little too late, and I have a couple things I got to run and do. So we'll leave that for another day. This thing's looking sick. Let me just show you the cab lights, because I don't think I, I definitely didn't show you guys this on YouTube yet. But So the, those are the cab lights. They are tinted black with amber LEDs in them. They're way brighter than what they used to be. And definitely with like the way that everything's coming along with it all blacked out. I'm still contemplating if I'm gonna paint all this stuff black because as you guys know we're gonna be painting this entire truck desert tan but it's probably not gonna be until the end of August so in the meantime I might paint the bumpers black to match but we'll see if I if I, if I actually get to it or not but we do have a bunch of other mods coming for this thing so stick around and I hope you guys like this build all right I'll talk to y'all later peace